Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. I have put out a video this week. Um, I wanted to let you know why. <laughs> uh, I'm recovering from some surgery. Been down for about the last week or so. Haven't been in the in the shop being able to uh, get anything done. So with that said, I thought that I'm feeling a little better today. I'd make a quick video and something where you know I can get in and out and get back in bed. And uh, I wanted to make a video today and show you how to never make a mistake on your engraving ever again with one little trick in Lightburn. So let's jump into Lightburn and let me show you what that trick is. All right, so here we are in Lightburn now. How many times have, you know, you've created a, a beautiful design <laughs> in, in Lightburn and you're ready to run the job and you find out that you did something wrong um, that you didn't have it set up the way it's supposed to be set up and you wind up ruining that piece of wood I, I can tell you that it's happened to me over and over and over again multiple times but not since uh, version one of Lightburn so since version one of Lightburn uh, they've come up with something new uh, some of you may have found it many of you probably didn't if you click on the little uh, wrench and screwdriver icon up here it'll bring up your device settings down here at the bottom you'll see something called enable job checklist so we'll check that off and we'll hit the edit button now you can type in here anything that you want it doesn't matter what it is I'm gonna put in here did you check your layer priority is your air assist on is the laser focused and say okay so now once I say okay to that it's gonna remember that job list so now if you look here my layer priority is not set properly so I should have my engraving up at the top and my second engraving after that and then finally my cut and one thing that you want to make sure um, if you come to the laser tab and go to optimization settings in here you're probably going to have just this one selected order by priority but you want to add order by group and order by layer so you want to have all three of these in here you always want to have cut inner shapes first selected and if you have any backlash on your co2 you can click hide backlash as well there's some other choices in here so make sure that you have your optimization settings all done properly as well and now if we come now i do have a laser set up over in the wood shop but i'm not going to actually run the job but let's just go ahead and click start and see what happens so now you see we get a confirmation message did you check your layer priority is the air assist on is the laser focused and you know <laughs> one of these three things is always off on me where when I do now I don't do this on camera when I'm recording videos I think I may have in one or two but one when I'm not recording videos I always use this since version one and I haven't made a mistake and wasted material because of it so I think this is a really great feature that nobody talks about and I wanted to bring it to your attention today and just to show you how important this is where it actually stops you from starting the job until it reminds you did you check your layer priority is your air assist turned on is the laser focused and whatever other items you want to put in there um, did you turn on the chiller you know is the exhaust on you can put everything that you want in there to check before you start the job just because so many of us rush to hit that start button and we wind up ruining material because of it so that's it a uh, quick uh, video that was something I'm not known for uh, something that can save you a lot of grief and a lot of materials I know it saved me a lot of material uh, since version one came out um, I didn't want to go a whole week without making a video so I forced myself out here this week and I just want to take a little time to uh, do a little self-promotion <laughs> so I wanted to uh, say congratulations to Terry Kellogg who won the per gear laser storm l5 laser in last month's uh, giveaway so he's the winner there there is only um, five days left in the sculpt fun laser laser enclosure which uh, I'll be giving away three of these 
So uh, I'll put links down in this, the description where you can um, find the link to this. And uh, you just click over there, you know, sign up, and you can enter every day for the next five days. Three, three of my viewers are going to get one of these. It's an extra large, uh, 27 and a half inches wide, 27 and a half inches deep, and 18 inches tall uh, laser enclosure, which is sort of like a grow tent, very lightweight. Uh, nice nice little um, enclosure so if you're interested in winning one of those you got five days left to enter into that um, let's see what else I wanted to tell you about the forums so the forums are growing like cra crazy the hobby forum that I have and let's see we are up to over 16,000 members there we got a lot of good information going on there uh, it's lahobbyguy.com and slash bb for the bulletin board it's an old style bulletin board very easy to use uh, lots and lots of discussions going on lots of friendly people there it's no nonsense it's not like facebook or facebook groups where the posts disappear you know and get hidden in the clutter um, the posts are there permanently so you can sign up for a free account everything is free there we've got the members only section that will appear once you become a member uh, and there are all kinds of downloads there. There are art libraries. There are cut and engrave libraries. There are templates. And just uh, It's just a wealth of information that no laserologist should be without. <laughs> so uh, hopefully, you know, uh, in, in following this experience with me in learning lasers, which is going to be a lifetime learning experience, uh, you know, we'll all get better at this and we'll become laserologists. I also wanted to uh, just talk about what's coming uh, when I do get back up and, and running next week. Um, I'm going to be doing a couple of fiber videos. Yes, I heard you. <laughs> I, I, I read all of my emails. I, I answer all of my messages. Uh, you know, so yes, I heard you. Yeah, we're going to get that fiber in the background, uh, cranking out some products. It has been cranking out products. I just haven't made videos on it. So we're going to start doing a couple of fiber videos. I'm going to show you that a fiber is not only for metal, uh, but you can use it on almost any material, just like any other laser. Uh, there is a wide misconception, and I'm probably responsible for some of it with my viewers when I talk about fiber lasers being uh, better for metals. But I, I never said that it can't do other materials as well. Uh, I do some really awesome precision work on leather, and I do some work on wood and I do some, you know, work on anodized business cards with photographs that comes out just absolutely awesome. You're not going to believe it. So we're going to uh, get some of those video videos up as well next week when I'm feeling a little better. So look for those. Those are coming soon. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.